Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you about Google Merchants and how you can get started with it. So having said that, let's just jump into it. So first of all, let me just tell you that Google Merchant is basically for merchants or for companies or you know sellers who have a very large business and they already have their things running. So you need to have a big business to you know start using this app. But we're just going to go over it to let you know how it works. So first off, you're going to go ahead and click on Get Started. And once you do that, it'll take you over to this part of the website when you have logged into Google. So it starts off with Tell Google about your business. To help you reach the right customers. Do you sell products online? Yes or no? Well, I'm going to press Yes on this option. And then we put in our store's website, if you have a website, customer website, or your selling page or selling website. If you chose that one, then you would come here, where it says show your products on Google for free. Reach hundreds of millions of people looking to buy products like yours by adding your products to Google. Just as Google doesn't charge sites to show in Google search, your products can appear in product results across Google for free. Where your products will show, Google will connect you with the right customers across search, YouTube, images, and assistant. Customers will see your product listings on Google and go to your website to buy the things you sell. So what you need, your own online store. You need to have an online store that accepts payments, has clearly priced products, offers returns, and includes your contact information. And products, not services. You need to sell physical products. Services such as consulting, massages, and repairs can't show in free listings. So then we press on create a Google Merchant Center account. So here you need to put in the business name and where the business is registered. So once you have filled that out, then you will come here. Let's finish the remaining steps to get you fully set up and running. You can fix that later. So over here, when we go, if we go to products in the left corner, and uh, here we can add products, and we have diagnostics, performance, growth, and overview. This is your dashboard, and we have multiple different options in the left corner. So, so now we are on Google Merchant Center overview. This is how it looks like. Our tools and settings. We have our messages over here. We have help and we have notifications. So first things off, we have to get started with free listings. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Or we can explore some options as well. So we have, right now we have three issues to fix, remaining to fix, that cause the product to not show up. So let's go ahead and deal with that. So over here, we have not claimed our website. We need to add in more information about business address, phone number. But first things first, we're going to go ahead and jump into the product section over here. And here we're going to add different products into the merchant center simply press on add product and it will open up the website where you simply have to get started so over here you have country of sale languages so that's already on united states language is going to be english destination free listings website we have to verify that first then we can move on we have product identifiers Basically, you know, if you have GTIN, UPC, IN, JAN, or ISBN number. Yeah, if you have any product with different identifiers, that is the basic view. And if advanced, then you have a little bit more options over here. Then we have the product data. Basically, you have the ID, SKU, title, brand, description, landing page, image, link, and stuff like that. Then we have to enter in the price. You can choose what kind of currency and the avail availability. So let's go ahead and do this. So first off, we don't have to verify and claim our website right now. Then the GTIN numbers or UPC numbers can be anything. We don't have to add this right now. So I guess unmark the identifier. And then you can add an ID or SQ number. If you leave it empty, 
then it will have an ID auto assigned. And here title for the product, we can say like, for example, cotton t-shirt. Like for example, if you have a publicly recognized name of the company that makes this product, then you can put that in here. So let's say Levi's for now, just as an example. And then in the description, we can put in, this is a nice cotton t-shirt, just as an example. Then you're gonna link to your landing page so that people can go over there and view it. And then you have to enter in the image link. And if you have one of those, an image link is an image or a stable URL of the page that contains the main image of this product. If you have various different images for this product, add the images as additional image links for this product. This image can be in these formats, GIF, JPEG, PNG, BMP, and TIFF. And then we have different size requirements. So let's say if I want a t-shirt picture, then I can download it and drop it here as well. I just downloaded this picture of a cotton t-shirt and then I dropped it here. Now it's processing and there it is, the white shirt. And then we can choose price, let's say 20 USD and the availability, the product is in stock. And then we can add condition if it's new condition, refurbished or used and this shirt will be in, in uh, new condition. And if you have an apparel or variant product you can turn that on and then you can have like a more detailed version of your product like it can be of different colors different textures sizes for different genders age groups and the last one is shipping and taxes and then you can fill out that information and then when you're done with all of this you can press on save so let, we have now an error here so it wants us to add in a landing page link so then it will turn up red like this and you will have to enter what the landing page is verify the website to be able to save the product so what you guys have to do is just verify your website and then it will be then you will be able to upload the product to google merchant center check out uh, our shipping then if you press on this one, then it will open up a new tab over here. Then it says shipping service name. So we'll just say UPS, countries, United States, USD. Then click on next. Then you can go with that one. Select your shipping method. How do you want to determine delivery times for this service? you can set your own range so time time zone handling time transit time holiday sh shipping cutoff but if you have like this you can continue here and then continue until the shipping cost so it all depends on what you choose here once you've done that you simply press on next and you will be able to do the shipping cost as well then on taxes, if we press on that, then you will have to set up sales tax. And then you will choose a state because we chose United States earlier. You choose a state. Let's go and choose. You can turn on how many you want. Does it matter? It depends on you what you want. Then press on save. Then your settings have been saved. Then we have different tax categories here. So to really do this, we have to fill in all the information, but uh, that's it for now. Now you know the basics. If you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave a like and tell us what you thought in the comment section below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.